Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in the new Subnautica Below Zero uh, game. Right now this game is a really early access, uh, you will see that the game is not well optimized also. I will show you what uh, graphic parameter that you can change to get like the most of your FPS and also to not decrease too much your uh, image quality. I didn't find the config file for now, I will look at the new build when they re re will release one. Um, because normally it's in app data and I didn't see any uh, file even when I save uh, my config file where I save my game so it's a bit weird anyway I will look at it and maybe do a second video but for now this is uh, what you will need to use to get most of the game so first of all make sure that you're playing this game in full screen really important I saw a big difference between full screen or if you uncheck it, like you will lose 3 to 4% of your FPS. So really important to play it full screen. Resolution I'm playing 1080p, but for sure after all the change, if you're in st you don't get your 60, you will need to lower your resolution and get something like 720p. Let's go to the graphics section. So first of all, water quality will have a big impact for sure because you see a lot of water in the game. I'm playing at medium, but for each bracket you will gain 3 to 4%, so really important this one. Detail is a little bit less, 1 to 2% for each bracket, so uh, I'm putting those one at medium. Anti-aliasing, big chunk of FPS here, play in with FXAA. Oops, sorry. Play with FXAA, it will help you a lot, and after that, you can change your anti aliasing quality and playing at medium. But again, if you have an integrated video card or like an old GPU, you will probably have to put the anti aliasing quality at low. Uh, also, really important, make sure that you're unchecking bloom and depth of fill, just those, those two ones when you uncheck them. Uh, you will gain like 6 to 7% of uh, increase of FPS, so really good over there. Motion Blur I'm putting at off, but you will not see a big increase here. Uh, it's just I don't like the effect itself. And the last two one, Ambient Occlusion, big boost for this one. When you put it this one at off, uh, you will gain like 5% of FPS increase. And the screen re space reflection also, big increase over there, 3 to 4% when you put this one at low so this is currently the setting that i'm using i'm getting like 120 fps with the rtx uh 2070 with the ryzen 2700x uh people are asking me well why you're lowering your graphic quality and you're getting one to, uh, 120 fps it's because my screen is 144 hertz so i'm playing at high refresh rate so i need fps but for sure in the future when they will release patches and stuff like that i will probably I run this game like at I and playing at 144 FPS. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.